Hey guys, I've had several of you reach out, uh, probably messaged me, kind of wanting to know how we're getting uh, our form set up in a day uh, for our shop. Uh, you know, right now we're working on doing three a day. So uh, I'm going to turn this thing around, give my camera to Megan, and and uh, kind of walk you guys through this. Well, first off, we only use seconds, our seconds here in our shop. You know, uh, they get dinged up, banged around. So we try to go through seconds and these these are just you can see there's little blims on the noses and scratches on the heads and this one's got a little blim on the nose so all that stuff's fixable we do have those seconds for sale you'd have to get a hold of colton it'll save you some money i guess one got broke coming out of the mold all that stuff's really 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 fixable stuff uh anything to save us all money would be a great thing but i'm gonna hand this to megan so I've got all I've got all three of these up on the on the wall. This is what I use. Uh, I buy this tip at Walmart. It's got this little bitty. Uh, uh, can you see that pretty good, Megan? It's got this little. I guess it's a diamond coated thing. So when I go through, like my lips, I only go through to there, and then I'll go ahead and go on through. But I'm going to show you guys real quick. I'm going to have her try to pan in here. So on my noses. You know, everybody here kind of knows what a nose looks like. This is just this this is what I do here. I start in the back. I come down over that dip. I come up. I don't take a lot out of that bottom. I don't like a big wide open nose. I'm trying not to get more than halfway through there, of course. And I open this up for some tucking area. So I'll come back through with a tool and I'll just clean that up real quick. So I'm gonna run through. She can kind of watch me through here. Start down there, down, I come back up, and around. I get my, my slot back here. Like I said, I rough these all in really quick. I'll have my whole day's work set up, so when I'm done with this project here, this part of the project, I will be totally done. down, back up, and around, open up my tucking slot. I don't believe in replacement noses for commercial work. In our shop, you know, we're a $650 deer head shop. We can all debate prices all we want. I get it. But I was a businessman way before I was a tax nearest. And we can make money at six hundred and fifty dollars. Six hundred and seventy five I think this year. That's how fast I get through these noses. Like I said, I'll take my tool and I'll go in there and I'll tool that out a little bit. I just spin this over at this point. And I call this driving with my thumb. And here I just will go just break that skin with that bit and run that around quick. glue I use pro one glue on my face area and I'll put a lot of glue in there if I got something a little loose I might throw a t-pin or two in there but I don't like to fight with this lot been doing this for a lot of years and I don't have any trouble with this big little hole I think it's, it's easier to taxi the skin get it where you want it to be
funny how that's how quick I can get through three of those. Like I said, I'll just take now a tool. Find one here. I like that tool right there. Clean those noses up. Just come in now and just kind of get those noses roughed out. Megan holding the camera here, she actually does all the finish work. She'll come in and epoxy those and make those pretty nice. And she might even carve out a little more. I don't know what she does in there if they're good when they're done. But anyhow, guys, that's how quick to set up three of these. Uh, here in a little bit, I'm going to set them around. I'll get the eyes get ready to go, and, and uh, I'll let her videotape and throw those eyes in. Thank you all.